Imagine the teeth surface as uh, slippery. Aligners have a hell of a hard time trying to stitch on the teeth surface. That is where we need them to be to work properly. And as aligners are very good at pushing teeth, but not at pulling them, there are some movements that are less predictable than others. For example, extruding an upper lateral incisor is very hard because as the aligner moves down, it doesn't find any concave surface to push onto. So, teeth that do not have any concavities that offer the aligner a place to push onto are very hard to move. This is part of the reason why we needed an attachment to extrude the upper lateral in a previous video. With an attachment, we create a surface the aligner can push onto, and therefore the tooth is way more likely to move. The upper lateral incisor doesn't have any concavities, so the aligner tends to detach from it in the effort of extruding it. On the contrary, take a look at the extrusion movement on a premolar. The aligner grasps the tooth close to the gums, where it designs a convexity it can exploit to extrude it. Therefore, if the aligner has some surface it can push onto, it can make the tooth move in a predictable way. If the aligner has no surface to push onto, it won't move the tooth, and it will just slowly detach from it, causing a space to form between the tooth and the aligner. So, if you need to extrude a convex tooth, just make sure to use an attachment. But I'd suggest you to use one even if the tooth you need to extrude isn't convex, just to make sure it works out better.